Mac Kids 101 and today I'm going to be showing you one more terminal trick and um, it's actually worth your time. I'm going to be showing you today how to zip a file into a zip file and how to zip multiple files. So I'm going to be demonstrating this to you on my desktop. You can see my desktop, normal stuff here and um, some hard drives and stuff. So right now, first of all, I'm going to make a new document called Hi. Inside of this, I'm just going to type some random stuff. And so now on my desktop is Hi. Now we, we all remember this, how this works. We're going to, except now, we're going to zip up Hi into a zipped compressed file or folder. See, what we're going to do is we're going to type zip, Z-I-P, space, dot slash hi dot zip dot slash hi and let me explain this zip just zip something the first parameter which is dot slash hi dot zip is where we're gonna zip and dot means my active directory like my pwd so right now if i type pwd i'm in slash user slash alex slash desktop that means slash user slash alex slash desktop that's what dot means slash hi and it's actually hi dot zip because whenever you make a zip file you want to end its name with zip and then the last parameter is the file we're zipping into the zip file so now we hit enter and right there it says adding hi stored zero percent now here's hi dot zip let me just throw it hi because now hi is in the zip file right here and I can double click hi dot zip and <coughs> hi dot zip extracts and then makes hi right there on my desktop and I can open it up and there's hi indexed at it so now I'll throw out both of these when you have a or no I'm not going to throw out hi dot zip when you have a zip file and you double click it to open it up it will release everything that's inside of it onto the active directory so now let's let's do that a different way we're gonna do a nano high again make just a random high and now high is back on my desktop and I'm gonna zip up high actually I'm gonna move high to rename it from high to high one now high is now high one I can then um, take high one and zip it into the same high.zip. So already we can see high is in high.zip. But now high one is going to be in high.zip too because we're going to do the same zip command. And high.zip already exists. That's okay. And we're going to zip up high one. Now we hit enter. And it's added high one to high.zip. And we're going to delete high one from my desktop. Open high.zip. And now. If you have more than one file in, in a zip file, in a zip um file, it will create a directory with the zip file's name, except without the dot zip. So now here's high. We open up high, and here's high and high one. So now we close that. We throw this out. Let's let's do one more thing. We're also gonna zip up into high dot zip. We're gonna zip up. Let's zip up documents into high.zip. Now this is a little different because we're zipping a directory. We do the same thing. We're going to type documents here, so dot slash documents. But we're going to have to do zip dash r for recursively. And, you know, rm dash r means recursively, remove this, move this recursively, whatever. Or zip dash r for recursively. And it's, uh, it, all this stuff will come up whenever it zips any file into a um, zip file it will take a while and so now it's taking a long time to zip up something because it's actually a large file so um, I'm just gonna do a cut here into the let's done zipping okay so we're done zipping everything into high dot zip right here and if we open it up it will take a long time to extract and it says unarchiving and this is going to take a little while, but it's worth your wait. And now all the documents inside of it and the directory inside of it will appear on my desktop. So now it's done loading. Um, here's hi. 
and there's documents. Everything in high. And in high.zip. I'm going to throw out high, actually. I'm just going to do an rm high to save space. And I'm going to have to do an rm dash r high. And then I'm going to do rm high.zip. So now my desktop is clean once again. So let's just um, make a new zip file just of documents. And I'm going to show you one little thing. So I'm going to do another cut here as it zips up documents. Okay, so now we have high.zip. Let's just demonstrate one more thing with high.zip. We've zipped plenty of stuff into it. It's actually just got documents in it at this point. So now what I'm going to show you is how to use the unzip command. Now look at this. We type unzip, and this is actually going to be a special experience. Space high dot zip. And what this does is the equivalent of double clicking it to unzip, except if documents already exist on my desktop, it's going to put, try to put documents on my desktop again. That's not going to work out. And normally when you do it with the GUI, Documents 1 will appear on my desktop because there's already documents. But on this, it's going to ask us what we want to do. So let's do this. So now it says replace. And Y for yes to replace my documents folder. No, we don't want to replace it. N for no. And that would just cancel the unzip because there's no other file. Um, all for, you know, replace all. And R for rename. And we type the letter we want and hit enter. And so I'm going to rename documents, which is trying to unzip to documents1. Right here is documents1. Now, this wants us to unzip everything in documents. And so we can either rename everything or do whatever we want. So right now, I'm going to type R for rename, documents2. So now this is creating all the documents I want on my desktop. I'm just going to cancel it at this point by pressing Control c Now, say I drag hi.zip into another folder, like programs. Let's just drag hi.zip into here. And I unzip it here, whatever I want to do. Do a CD to programs. It will just unzip it normally. Now we type unzip high dot zip and see hit enter. Oops, I typed unzip wrong. And now it's gonna do all this crap for inflating, etc. And we can come over here to this finder window. See documents has appeared here everything in documents right now is being created so more and more stuff is going to come up here close this and um, that's pretty cool and it's unzipping it's done unzipping now let's just delete these documents on my desktop go into programs get rid of documents so that's how to zip a file folder, how to unzip something using the unzip program. And um, thanks for watching Terminal Lesson 5. Uh, subscribe to MacHeads at youtube.com slash MacHeads101. We appreciate your watching. Um, and uh, goodbye.